You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. What is the Bible? Part 2 Many people think the Bible is like a hologram. When you break a hologram, each little part holds the whole picture. They think the Bible's like that. Each little part shows us the whole truth. Or at least, a whole part of the truth. The practice of scholars, of preachers and of teachers of citing single verses or lists of verses to demonstrate something encourages most of us in this view. And to make it worse, the claim that the Bible is inherent in all its parts seems to seal this view. Which is odd. Really odd. Because in the Bible, God himself told us it's false. It happens at the end of the book of Job. Job's an unusual book after a couple of chapters of vivid story. We then move into 36 chapters of lengthy speeches in a debate between Job and his friends. Then God intervenes and speaks directly to Job. And then, at the end of the book, the story reappears. We need to think a bit about the chapters where Job's friends are speaking because each of them in turn presents their view of things at great length. So, supposing we were to take one of the chapters of the speeches of Job's friends, does that chapter, not just a verse or two from it, but the whole chapter, tell us the truth? You'd think so, it's part of the Bible. Okay, now let's turn to the story at the end where God has replied to Job out of the whirlwind and the story restarts. Chapter 42, verse 7 After the Lord had spoken these words to Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, one of Job's friends, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Okay? It's quite clear. God himself tells us that Eliphaz the Temanite and his two friends have not spoken what is right. If we look at the friend's speech in light of the whole book, we know that what they say is not true. God told us it wasn't true. The book tells us it's not true. You see, when we're reading the Bible, it's not precisely not like a hologram. You can't break it and each part show you the truth. The truth is only in the whole. In this case, we can spot that by looking at the whole book. If you just read the chapter, you'd think that Eliphaz, or his friends, were telling you the truth about God. And it sounds like it too. Eliphaz and the others have some good stuff to say. The parts are fine, but the overall effect is a lie. A lie told to Job, a lie that God denies. The Bible is not like a hologram. We can't take each part and use it alone. We have to read each part in the light of the whole. That's part of what the reformers meant when they used that phrase sui ipsius interpretes that we interpret the Bible by itself that the Bible is read in the context of the Bible what that means for us is that each part of the Bible must be read in the context of the whole Bible story to understand any part of the Bible we must read it as part of the story that begins with creation moves sadly through human sin to the death of Jesus on the cross, his resurrection and his coming again in promise, in future. All of that story forms the context within which we must read each part of the Bible. We can take no part at face value except as it fits within the whole. The book of Job is also a severe warning to us that we can't simply take the parts of a book and read them out of the context of the whole book the wonderful promises of blessing that many of the prophetic books have usually at the end cannot be read and understood rightly unless we read them in the context of the terrible warnings of punishment that the same books have unless we notice that in these books so often the punishment precedes the blessing you can't claim Jeremiah's wonderful promises I know the things I have in store for you, says God, good and not evil, 
unless you remember that those promises are for people who have lived through the destruction of Jerusalem the tearing apart of the temple and all the rest it's so easy to take those promises as ours when we haven't earned them the Bible is not a hologram it's not the parts that tell the truth it's the whole the whole Bible and the whole of each book what is the Bible it's not a hologram see you next time God bless